Facebook family, this is Vili Toilolo with another video to help you in your life, in your business. I do this kind of thing to add value, so if you get value out of this, if you like this kind of thing, then please share it with a family member or a teammate or a friend. I have an exciting topic for you right now, that is the two most important words in sales. Now before you even try to comment or even reply, respond with, well, I'm not in sales. Everyone's in sales. The doctor has to sell you on his professionalism and his competence before you even trust him. In a relationship, you have to try to gain the trust or, or you have to sell yourself basically in a way or present yourself that the person may be attracted to you. So don't tell me that you're not involved in sales. Everyone's involved in sales. If you're applying for a job, aren't you basically selling yourself? Not selling yourself, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Keep it clean. To your future employer to show them that you, again, I like to use the word competent. Are you competent that you are? Hey, Sandy, what's up? Talo Falava. And if that doesn't make sense, look up Red Motley. In 1946, stated, that nothing happens until someone sells something. So sales makes the world go round. It's not about money, don't even go there with me. It's not about that, it's about sales, okay? So you can apply this in different aspects of your life. You apply it to relationships like I used in that example. You apply it to your personal life, whatever have you, all right? So the two most important words in sales. Let's get into it because my sons are just about done with Pop Warner football. We got another one in big boy football. And yeah. So, number one. You. The customer buys you first. The first sale that's ever made is the salesperson. So who you were in your life before you be became hey, good to see you. I like that. I like that. I like how you pronounce it. Who you were in your life before you entered this business this sales position, this network marketing, home-based business, brick and mortar business, will greatly impact your results as a salesperson. So again, you apply this anywhere. If you, if you figure, oh, I'm not in sales, think of your relationships in, at work, at home, at, anywhere. Think of how you show up. Who you are before you enter this space will greatly impact your results. If you were a jerk, if you treat uh, service people like um, waitresses and waiters bad, it's gonna come back to you. So it all begins with you. Number one, the word is you. It's all about you. Again, the people buy you. The sale, it, it, it could be any product, but they buy you. If they trust you, they like you, if you're genuine, if you're authentic. By the way, little plug for authenticity. I really like these live videos, why? Because it seems like with all these, I got this uh, black and white filter here, right? Hey, what's up, PE? Man, somebody else commented. Come on in. Too fast, I missed it. I'll read that comment later, PE. But I like these live videos, why? Because it's so authentic. I mess up, I fob out, spit comes out of my, my mouth onto the camera, you know, the phone here. That's right, that's real life, right? You, sometimes the sentences don't make sense. And PE Snyder, I see that hashtag authenticity. One of the most authentic people I know. I'm not lying. So once again, you. Hi, son. That's the number one word in sales. And go back to the beginning. If you don't think you're in sales, go back to the beginning spill of how I explained that everything is surrounded, evolves around sales, okay? Number two, so if you understand you, then you will understand the second most important word in sales. Why? Why leads to the thing that makes sales that you can't make sales without, and that is answers. I'll explain a little bit more. And, and once again, if I fail to mention this, I gotta give credit to where credit's due. Hi, son. Hi. Put your hands in and say hi. Hi. Jeffrey Gittimer, look him up. That's right, praise God. That's right, amen to that. He's a mentor of mine. He's written all kinds of books. It's an amazing, helpful person. But uh, let me go back to what I was saying. So, why you? In other words, why why are you doing this? What's in it for you? 
Again, the second word is why. Number one, one first word in sales is you. I'm going to start to make you some goofy faces. <laughs> and so, why are you involved in this profession? Hey, Sandy. Sean Hall's in the house. Right on. So, what do you have to gain to gain out of this? If it is solely, he's like having fun over here. If it is solely for money, then you need to get out of sales. That is not the reason why you should be in sales. For money? Come on, really? But if it's for some greater purpose, if it's to help people, provide answers, um, learn your best, or do your best, or even add value, which I like to do. Thank you, PE. Then you are in the right place. So if it's for money, once again, then get out of sales. Get out of sales. If it's for a greater purpose, helping people, adding value, learning more, you know, progressing, improving. Boys, you got any questions? Um. Wait, can you smile real fast? You had teeth before practice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Did he knock the teeth out of you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, also another part of why, and then we'll, we'll close it up, is why them? How do they benefit from from whatever you're selling. What's in it for them? Little plug on a side note, this is from someone else. Uh, people really don't care about your product or your service. They only care what's in it for them. So take that approach when you're presenting. Please do not go into long spills about how your, your drink or your product has come from the highest mountains or the lowest valleys and how they preserve it in gold plates. Nobody cares about that. They only care how it's going to benefit them. Take that approach, you'll have better results in your sales. Another part of why, you can say why ask, or even why ask why. Say hi, Auntie. Hi, Auntie. Hi. All the aunties watching right now, and uncles. So why ask why? Basically, you are trying to master the power of asking questions. Nobody cares about your pedigree or your background. It's all about them. So if you're sitting across from someone that you're trying to sell, and, and, the, and the only reason why I know this, I've experienced it, I've closed sales, is you make it about them. How can you benefit them? If you come in there like, oh, this product's good, it, it has helped me in my life. Yeah, nothing's wrong with the testimonial, but it's all about them. Hi, Finn. Aaron, I don't know if you're gonna watch this, but we just saw Finn walk by. He's like, why is everybody staring into talking to the radio? <laughs> so master sales, by doing that, and you will also master your checkbook. A bunch of <laughs> Come on, Sean. All right, everybody, say bye. Bye. Tell them, tell them you stink. I stink. <laughs> they were like, like, why are we saying that? All right, time to shower these boys up. Thank you for joining me. Stay I blessed. Go, go ahead. Football. Yeah, they play football. The good thing he has a mouthpiece. Stay blessed. Stay thankful. Aloha. Say aloha. Aloha.